I, I don't know how ambitious I am. So I, I was thinking we could start our own website, a video sharing site that's primarily for people that are blogging, or vlogging, this term, vlogging. People that are using it for primarily for communication and not for the mass media, like not for the you know all the stuff that you search for. Like if you searched for drugs and alcohol, it would just come up as a person talking. It would come up as a bunch of different people talking about that. So you could like listen to all these different people that had talked about it. As opposed to taking drugs and alcohol and you see like a dude skateboarding and a dude, you know, something with a million point five views that's like a 29 second thing. Like, make a website that's just about people talking about it. I really would like to do that. But I don't know about my ambition. I mean, it, then I was thinking... Well, ambition is what unifies. Cow Cow in Romance of the Three Kingdoms, his ambition is what led to a unified China. It was in a time when this guy seized the emperor. There was a rebellion and everyone went away to fight the rebellion. And when they were away, the guy in the capital seized the emperor and seized the capital and threw the country into chaos. And all the all the the warriors and men that were away went to their lands, their homelands, and formed nations, formed groups of people to form unity. And it, it was like war for 150 years or something. 100 years. 100 years. From like 189 A.D. It was like 184 A.D. is when the rebellion broke out. This is in China. And in 189 A.D., uh, five years after the rebellion broke out, is when the guy seized the capital, shortly before that. And then, for about 100 years, they, they warred. But it was this one guy, Cao Cao. I mean, there were a lot of guys. The story, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, revolves around a lot of characters. It's like, it's like a universe with a lot of characters moving and revolving and spinning as they're all moving around each other. Like they're traveling around, um, but this one guy, Cao Cao, his nation eventually unified. It was after he died. His son, his son's son, was betrayed. Well, at the top level, was kind of usurped by his his advisor's great his advisor's grandson, Sima Yi. Uh, Okay, anyway, the whole point is, I, I'm really into Chinese literature, at least Romance of the Three Kingdoms is incredibly interesting to me. And I'm glad to have an opportunity to talk about it and relate, relate it to my life. Because ambition is a big part of that game. The guys that you play as were, were ambitious people. They stood up, they formed groups, and they worked towards what they believed. And, and some of them, you know, a lot, it, a lot of it, it led to fighting. It, there, was a, there was a war, it was a war, so these guys were like at war. But some of them were really good people, and they really wanted good things, and, you know, we do what we can. Let me know what you think about it, I guess. Or not. Do whatever. <laughs>